Hi, this is Jeff Challen, and in this screencast I'll provide a quick overview of MP1 in terms of what is included and what you have to do. So once you have the project, um, once you've cloned the project from Subversion, you'll see that there are two directories here. There's source main Java and source test Java. This is a directory layout that's used by a variety of different Java projects, so we thought it was useful to get you used to it. Um, in source main Java, are the main files that you're going to edit. Um, there are three parts to the assignment. In Factorial, you'll implement a function that returns the factorial of a given number. In Quizmaster, you're going to um, augment this to compute a score for a quiz based on some rules. And winner.java asks you to return three scores in sorted order, separated by commas. So for each one of these, the structure is pretty similar. Um, there is a main method function. Each uh, class has a main method, which allows it to be run. That main method handles the process of getting input from the user. Um, so this is all completed for you. This is not code that you need to modify or worry about, but you should look at it and try to understand how it works. So in this case, for example, uh, in factorial, the main method handles getting input from the user and ensuring that that input is an integer. It then calls a function that you have to write. That function is right here. Um, it's currently um, incomplete, just returns an invalid answer every time, which is obviously incorrect. So this is the function that you're going to write. And there's a comment here that instructs you to write this function. That structure is shared by Quizmaster and Winner. So again, Quizmaster, there is a main method here that handles prompting the user, asking them a series of questions about computer science. And then it calls the function that you need to write called compute score to compute a score for their quiz. And then again, up here, this is um, the score function for you to write. And currently it's unimplemented, just returns zero every time. Finally, in winner.java, um, we have the same structure. So there's a main method here that uh, solicits several integers from the user, and then it calls your function, which is unimplemented, to return them in sorted order. So again, this is um, another a piece of code that you have to write, and the main method here is another piece of code that you have to understand. Once you have access to our project, you should be able to run all three of these independently from each other. So if I click over here and I click uh, run this as, let's see, cancel, I'll run as Java application, that'll compile it for me. And now down here in the window, it's asking me for my integers. So let's say I do one, two, three, and now it printed nothing because that function hasn't been completed yet. You need to write it. So four, five, six etc. So again, the, the process of soliciting input from the user is completed for you. This um, function winner.java will, will continue in an infinite loop. So if you want to stop it, you need to click on the terminate button over here. Quizmaster.java is very similar. I'll show you how to run this one. So run as Java application. Okay, and then it asks me for my zip code. And then it asks me a series of questions about computer science, which I'm going to get wrong on purpose. Um, and that it provides me with my score. But the score is incorrect. Even if I got all the questions right, I would still get a zero right now because you need to finish this function. And then again, factorial, last but not least, I can run this as Java application. It asks me for a number, I'll say 10. Now factorial, because it hasn't been completed, will just continue to say invalid input, even if you enter a number that is actually valid. So if I enter a negative one, it says invalid input, and that is an invalid input. And if I enter 30, it says invalid input, and that is an invalid input. But if I enter 10, it also says invalid input. Once you fix this function and have it return the factorial of a number within the given range, this error message will go away and the program will work properly. So that's your goal. You have three small pieces of code to write, one in factorial.java, one in quizmaster.java, and one in winner.java.